$500 billion is a steep price for a budget battle that may become a war if Congress can't agree on trimming the national debt. And that money, $500 billion, is on top of the nearly $500 billion in defense cuts over the next decade. Then on your sides, Art Khan is live in Chesapeake, where three Virginia congressmen put up a fight against some of the largest cuts of defense in our nation's history. We saw the video earlier, Art. That meeting was packed tonight. Yeah, it sure was, Tom. In fact, before the meeting started, a busload of people arrived here who came from Richmond to be at this meeting tonight. Now, you know, this is the beginning of a national tour called Defending Our Defenders. But for the people of Hampton Roads, this meeting might just as well have been about preserving the local economy as it was defending our national defense. In addition to the large crowd inside the Chesapeake Convention Center, something else was packed into this room Monday night, a sense of urgency. What frightens us most is that we're not hearing anybody talk about the impact of these cuts and demanding from Washington that they stand up and say, we've got to fix it. Fourth District Congressman Randy Forbes sits on the House Armed Services Committee and told the audience that cutting more than a trillion dollars from the defense budget would mean handing out pink slips to upwards of 200,000 men and women in uniform. The equivalent, he says, of wiping out the entire Marine Corps in one fell swoop. And to those of us who say it doesn't impact us, Secretary of Defense has said we could lose 1.5 million jobs across this country. And Virginia could be one of the hardest hit states in the nation. 20% of all of the jobs in the state are dependent on DOD spending. That's, that's almost a million jobs. And those jobs aren't exclusive to the military and government contractors. These are jobs on Main Street. About two-thirds of those are in retail, education, health, across the, the economy as federal dollars trickle down through Lost jobs will hurt more than the economy, according to this aerospace engineer, who also served as a defense advisor to former Senator John Warner. The most important and fragile component of our industrial base is our people. And if we lose those people and their skills, we lose our ability to, pr to produce the equipment our, our men and women in uniform have relied upon for generations. One local man who describes himself as the Ron Paul of Chesapeake says the congressional panel stacked the room with people who have a vested interest in defense spending and investing in what he calls unnecessary wars. I think a lot of people here are contractors and, and, the, and the employers of contractors and they're probably for more, more war spending. Well, Virginia's congressional delegation says they're not against trimming the defense budget. They just don't want to do it through this process of sequestration, which essentially is an automatic cut across the board, totaling, as you mentioned earlier, Tom, about a trillion dollars over a 10-year period. Now, they can avoid that sequestration if the Republicans and the Democrats can come together on how to trim the national debt. However, there's a lot of difference of opinion in the Democratic-controlled Democratic Senate and the Republican-controlled House. Reporting live from Chesapeake, Art Khan, 10 on your side.